Meltdowns after getting caught cheating, but let's jump right in, right after you subscribe, of course. Disclaimer, this video was made for strictly comedic slash artistic purposes. No offense is intended towards any individual featured in this video. What is the worst text message to receive? Probably my mom texted me, we need to talk because your girlfriend's cheating on you, so. Sounds like this has really happened. It has. That's really unfortunate. Do you miss your girlfriend? No, not that, no. I mean, you seem really hurt still. Yeah. Super mom to the rescue. Now that's a great mother, plain and simple. Are you guys a couple? my love my life. Love your life? Yeah. I'll give you $10,000 cash right now on the spot if you get up and kiss me right now. Yes! No. What do you mean no? It's a lot of money. We don't need that money. Yes, we do. No, we don't. I'm working for right now. Okay, okay. okay. My bad, my bad. $20,000 cash right now if she kisses me. Yes! No, you've already yeah, cheated on me once. Right. He's like, you're not gonna mention that. Okay, okay, my bad, my bad. Final offer. $50,000 cash right on the spot. If you don't do it, I'm taking it and walking away. We need it. We can get a Lambo or something. Well, we can't. Like, you do this, see that tram over there, I'm jumping in front of that tram. Do it! I can't believe you! Do I get the money? Yeah, you gotta kiss me first, though. Okay. Yeah. Psych, you ain't low. Oh, oh shit, bro! Yo, bro, is that G? If she's taking bro, any amount of money to cheat, she's clearly not loyal. Money does not equal love. Do you miss your husband? No, we a cheater. Well, it bothered me because I was cheating too. <laughs> Poor guys. You had four boyfriends? Grandma moving kind naughty, of wild. Naughty, Grandma. Grandma's out here in the streets. <laughs> Are you guys best friends by any chance? All of us, yeah. Yeah, okay, but I'll give you $10,000 right now on the spot if you tell me your deepest, darkest secret. If he has to walk away, you get to keep the money. Are you down? Yeah, I'm down for that. Okay, go ahead. Um, you know how I slept with your sister last week? Yeah, it's a bit messed up, but yeah. I'm over it now. I'm sleeping with your girl as well. What? 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 Serious? Yeah, oh! Damn. Sorry, you weren't meant to find out like this. Yeah, it's fine. Damn. Did you see all the money? No, keep it, man. Not only his sister, but his girlfriend Ooh. as well. Now that is a best friend betrayal at its finest. Ooh. I asked in the last 30 days, have you met anyone online? She, a ma male. She says well, no. She I had to take your test and tell me that was the truth. Okay. Now let's get into the cheater questions. I asked when you are having relation with your boyfriend, your boyfriend meaning this boyfriend. Mm -hmm. My only boyfriend. With Sebastian. I asked if she's thinking of other men during relation with you. She says no. Lie detector test looks like Mount Everest. That's mm -hmm. a lie. So she's, she's thinking, thinking about no, other I'm guys. I'm only thinking about you. Why are you thinking I'm about other guys? No, I'm not thinking about you no one else. Why is lie detector? I don't know so why. Maybe it's, he's the one taking a so test. Let's, let's he's always lying. Let's other questions. I asked, are you in love with Sebastian? She says, yes. Lie detector test determined that was the truth. I think I read that one already. Yeah. I asked, when you go to Vegas, are you seeing another man? She says, no. Lie detector test. Sebastian, I got another Mount Everest spike here, determines that that was a lie. What? I'm not seeing anyone else. What? You're seeing someone else? No, I'm not. I asked her. Vegas. Because I told you. Well, because it, because it, because I tell you. Really? You just sound, baby, don't she just sound guilty? Guilty. What else we got? What else I we asked. Go behind the camera, okay? I asked, I, can, when you, you go to Vegas, or do you have a, maybe I asked, do you have a relation, um, um, somebody having relation with another man in Vegas? No. She says, no, I'm going to turn it to you, man. I'm going to turn it to you. I ain't got no reason to lie on your girl. You see those Mount Everest? I call that Mount Everest. A lot of types of tests determined that was a lie. So she is having a relationship with somebody in Vegas. I said, are you having an uh, unprotected, unprotected relation with somebody in Vegas, a male in Vegas? She says, no. A lot of types of tests determined that that was a lie. Whatever she's doing in Vegas... She, she, she's doing some stuff in Vegas, homie. She is really trying to go against the lie detector, but the chances of it being wrong are slim to none. So this married guy messages me on Lazo for a loyalty test. Listen, you're going to regret wanting to get married after this video. I was a public profile, so I'm thinking this is just going to be easy. I straight message her saying, can I ask you a question? She just says, what? A bit dry, but I tell her, why have I not seen the most beautiful girl in San Francisco? She says, uh, maybe because we've never met. So I say, maybe we should make that happen. She says, lol, what do you mean? This girl's just a bit slow. I'm a straight shooter and I can't not take a shot at you. I don't even know you, which is a fair response. Not yet, but I tell her you're too gorgeous for me not to take my shot. So she says, lol, thank you. And you're pretty cute too. 
Listen, I'm not here to waste time, so I tell her, do you have any plans this weekend? And she says, yeah, I'm going out with some friends. So I tell her, I reckon we would both have more fun if we went out together. She says, you are funny, you already know the saying, if you can make a girl laugh, then you I tell her, let's link up, and she says, why not? Here's my number. Lesson I've learned from doing all of these tests is, if your girl's account is not on private, is that really a girl? It seemed at first maybe this girl was gonna stay loyal, but then she got a bit too interested. The one reason I wouldn't get back with my ex is like, we sat there, we chose wedding rings, we chose wedding bands. I get work in the huddle house. I get to Atlanta. He has proposed to another individual and everybody in the house took this girl he from a train on with his best friends proposed to her with the ring I chose while I was sitting in his mother's house cooking cookies I look for his information like on like Instagram like Snapchat you know just looking yeah. through his stuff as normal I'm blocked why am I blocked so of course, I got like six different pages, bro. I'm about to go find out why you can walk up. Like, right. I get to the page on the new, brand new, pretty red challenger. Is this Asian? Is her with the same exact build the bear I got? But let's not scratch it there. The ring I chose is the ring he about to give her. So you know what I did? I befriended her. I became her best friend. I brought her over. I'm going to speak it to the mic. I brought her over to my mother's house for a sleepover. We had the best time of our life. She told me in the middle of the sleepover, she likes somebody who lived 10 minutes from me. She go there while well, she's supposed to be with me, right? Get pregnant by old dude, she went. This blowing my line. Chaji, can you help me? And this is what happens when you're the secret side chick. Better luck next time, I guess. To the guy in my comments that recently found out his wife is having an affair and hasn't told her that he knows yet, but he's uh, basically planning an escape. Uh, this video is for you and anyone else who is currently in a marriage, um, especially a marriage, uh, with children, and this, this video will talk to you and I think it'll help. Something that struck me, what he said is, you know, I don't understand why she did this. I'm a good looking guy. I have a good job. I'm a great dad. I've always been affectionate with her. We've been together 12 years. I, I don't understand. My answer to that is there's nothing wrong with you. There is something wrong with her. And what I would tell your son, he's got a son in this case, is, you know, I left because I did not want to teach you that this is what love is. You're saying that no one should ever accept being cheated on. You should love yourself enough to leave. Your son is going to learn so much from this, and this is going to help him to have a healthier relationship when he gets older. You are doing right by yourself, and you're also doing right by him by leaving, of course. And I also wouldn't hold back. Um, if he says, why, why, why is there a divorce? Well, mommy cheated. Mommy felt like she wanted to cheat. And if, you know, mommy doesn't want you telling him that, then maybe mommy shouldn't have cheated in the first place. You, sir, are teaching your son how to be a man, not to be a man who gets walked on. No matter what happens with the spouse or anything in the relationship, there is never an excuse. Dodged a missile. Y'all sisters, friends? We're best friends. Hey, you have a boyfriend? I do. You have a boyfriend? Mm-mm. No, you know her boyfriend? I mean, kind of. Kind of? How you know her boyfriend? Uh, we met all together. What do you mean by that? I want to do a loyalty test, right? So basically, I'm going to have you call her boyfriend and try to hang out with him, try to Netflix and chill, and see how you going to react. You cool with that? Um, I mean, I feel like that's kind of weird. Something ain't right. Something ain't right. What? What's weird? What's weird about like, it? Just calling out of nowhere, like... No, it's, it's, a, it's a loyalty test. I mean... I mean, we could try it. Now I do what I want. We should. Now I do what I want. We All right, you got his number? No. Like, you should already know me. Like, you know I ain't going for that. You know how to do it? All right, bet. Can you, can you give her your boyfriend number? Yeah. So I don't know. I don't, feel, I don't feel like this is, like, right. <laughs> nah, she cool I mean, with it. She... I mean, we could do it. We could do it. All right, bet. Let's do it. She she cool with it. All right. Take the number. Put the, put the phone. So, yeah, it's just a loyalty test. It's very simple. You know what I'm saying? Okay. It's already saved, girl. Really? Hold up. What you said? What you said? It's saved. His already. number saved? You say you didn't have his number. No, I, I don't remember. Hold on. Go to the messages. Go to the messages. If y'all got messages. 
No, that's not. That's not. No, that's not it. That's late. You say y'all never talked before. Okay, we text here and there, but it's not. Do 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 do. Not nothing serious. You just say you didn't have his number. Okay, well, I mean, no. I thought I did it, but no, 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 no. Bing bong. She was being so awkward from the start, something was clearly up, but Big then she bong. made it even more obvious. Greatly appreciate watching video, guys. Go down here and subscribe. See y'all next video.